This competency is all about confidence in dealing with money on an individual to a global scale. Financial literacy is the knowledge, skills and attitudes to make sound financial decisions in order to achieve individual financial well-being. In this video, we will explain how best to reach financial well-being by looking at different methods of saving, spending and borrowing. When looking at saving, one method that can be employed is the 50-30-20 method. This involves putting 50% of your income towards your needs, accommodation and food for example, 30% towards your wants, holidays and subscriptions, and 20% into some way of saving for the future, a savings account for example. When looking at saving, it is important to understand the meaning of compound interest or compounding. This is a way of saving that generates a large return over a long period of time. As interest rates are added to your monthly savings, over time the value of the saving grows exponentially. There is, of course, other methods of saving and investment. For example, investing in stocks and shares or in index funds and all of them come with varying levels of risk and reward. Economic literacy goes hand in hand with financial literacy. It doesn't explicitly seek to help you understand how to manage your personal finances, but it does illustrate where your choices fit into the bigger picture, for example, the economy as a whole. A basic economic interaction that is useful to understand is supply and demand. This is the relationship between the quantity of a good or service that a producer wants to sell and the quantity that consumers want to buy. The price of a commodity is determined by this relationship. This price is known as the equilibrium, as shown in the diagram by the crossover point between the supply curve and the demand curve. A final area of economics that is useful to come to terms with is inflation and interest rates. Inflation is the increase in prices for goods and services over time. Inflation is measured in the UK using different tools, most notably the Consumer Price Index. This measures the change in price of a common basket of goods for the average UK household. Interest rates are the reward for saving money or the cost of borrowing. It is a percentage charged on the total amount you borrow or save. The Bank of England currently have set the base interest rate in England at 0.1%. Interest rates can be used by the government to influence the levels of spending and saving in an economy, helping pull economies out of slumps and helping to manage inflation.